Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. And today we're not going to be doing a review as such. We're going to be doing a lot of an overview, really. And essentially, when I uh, recently did some all uh, like full cover motherboard blocks for the whole Republic of Gamers range, we had the Rampage ones and all the other ones. A lot of people in the comments were asking me to get some EK stuff in. So we've got the EK Rampage Five Extreme kit in. I've also got uh, the new EK Surem uh, Supremacy Evo CPU block. But then just to make it a little bit more interesting as well, because when I do these type of things, if this was my own rig, I'd want all of the blocks to match. I don't like uh, different things, you know, and different brands mixing up. It just drives my OCD nuts. So we've also got the 980 GTX block in and we have a back plate to go with it as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the blocks on the board and the graphics card. And then I've also got some of their lovely rigid tubing, which you'll see why in a minute. It's not going to be a fully built rig. We're just doing it to show off the way it looks. Cause sometimes that's all the inspiration that you need to jump out there and make your purchase. And there's, in my personal opinion, there's so very little between uh, motherboard, sorry, there's so little between water cooling blocks nowadays that I tend to not um, go too nuts about, you know, looking between them for, you know, a, a little bit of um, uh, uh, extra, you know, pressure loss on one, you know, a, a tenth of a degree on another one. I tend to personally go with aesthetics. And I do actually quite like the look of the EK stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it all blocked up. And then uh, I've got these uh, little rigid ends and I do have some of their, rigid fittings and you'll see what, what we're going to do with it in a minute and I've also got some of the uh, EK coolant uh, pastel red that we're going to use for them as well and you'll see why um, in a little minute but I'm not going to bore you with having a look at them uh, you know unboxing and all that type of stuff we've got the back plane and everything I'll show you when it's all built and uh, we'll have a good look at it once it's out and on there. Um, at the end of the day, when it comes to stuff like this, if you're a little bit worried about blocking your own graphics card up, blocking your own motherboard up, read the instructions, take step by step, and if you do get stuck, then um, just ask on one of the forums, like OC3D, for example. But all you need to do is just read the instructions and just follow them through, um, uh, uh, and just take your time really, don't be too afraid, just make sure you do whatever it says on the thing and check everything as well. Uh, and then you should be fine. I've never come into any uh, problems, but then that's the mechanic brain inside me. But I'm not gonna bore you any longer. It's time to get these all blocked up and looking lush. Okie dokie guys and girlies. So we've got the blocks all mounted up and we'll start with the graphics card one. Now. They come with all the screws and fittings that you could need. Uh, also, just before, before we get going on this, which is the reason why I've done it first, they did change the block, I think, on this and shortened it. So with the back plate, you do have to put a couple of screws, nuts and bolts on. It's still focused on the um, motherboard. So you do have to put those in, but it can't, they come with everything that you possibly want. Also, from this side, you can see that I've got the, a clear plexi bit on the side, which you can get, but it does come with a black one. So you can choose. And uh, this is obviously uh, great because if you want black, you know, you can customize it within the rest of your loop. Now I have got the uh, extra back plate on it. As you can see, I've got the old camera in there. It is a fingerprint magnet, but luckily some kitchen towel or kitchen paper or whatever you want to call it, bit of a like you would on your glasses <clears throat> and you can get it quite clean quite easily one thing i will say uh, which i wasn't a hundred percent about as you can see that there is a machine in line down the back of that back plate right through the middle now for me that did kind of drive my ocd a bit nuts and i don't know whether this is bare metal or lacquered i think it is bare if it's bare you can polish it that actually yeah, it's bare. You could probably polish it out with a bit of auto glim, uh, but it's just, it's, it's obviously been done when they've uh, machined this to try and get it shiny. Now, a lot of you probably won't see it. Once it's in your rig, it might not be too bad. It actually does reflect really nicely on my wall. But anyway, 
uh, once it's in your rig it probably won't look too bad but for me and I know a lot of others out there would find it quite annoying so be prepared but like I said from that kind of angle you don't really see it um, so you do have to have quite a specific view on it to be able to get it there but once you have seen it it can't be unseen so that's a, a little minor mark for this there we have the the internal bit now uh, on the uh, CPU block and these this one you can't do actually but on the CPU block you can change the plate I probably shouldn't have mentioned that it's just where I you can see the uh, little chamber inside anyway it's very well machined it's really nice looking as well. I like this bit on the outside as well now I've got these in at the moment these are the UK uh, rigid um, hose fittings that I've got in there at the moment uh, but you will see why I've got them on uh, but these are for all those of you out there that are into your rigid hose and stuff at the moment it's like the latest in thing it will be something you'll be seeing a little bit more from with me but I'll show you something uh, more with that in a in a jiffer on the motherboard side of things we've got the separate um, CPU block and that you can change the little accelerating plate and stuff on the inside I can't remember what they call it ex exactly we've got the uh, MOSFET block at the top and then we've got the little chipset block at the bottom now this bit up here isn't actually cooling anything it's just so that you get the water down and you can get a decent hose it doesn't interrupt with your graphics cards at all it gets the hose up and out the way now one thing I will say, this is a little thing and it's going to ruin your uh, warranty on your motherboard but I'm just going to grab the heat sink because you do have the heat sink that goes here on the board and it doesn't actually do anything, it doesn't touch anything so if you wanted to, now don't forget this will ruin your warranty, you could cut this off and then mount the big section back on your board up there and it would just get rid of the MOSFET cooler if you're a little bit more engineering minded you could try heating the black section up with a heat gun and try and coax this uh, section out because I'm pretty sure that the heat pipe is more than likely press fit inside there so you could heat it up and try and uh, get it out at the end of the day you're not going to lose anything all you need to remember is don't twist this section like that too much you're going to have to concentrate on trying to pull it's going to be a proper pain in the bum to be able to do it with like uh, heat proof gloves and stuff but it might be worth a try rather than just cutting it out if you're going to do it you've got nothing to lose because if you end up bending this and it pulls out like I said you were going to uh, cut it anyway so that would be a way of getting that back on there um, and then that would obviously then uh, close up this section again purely aesthetics uh, but it's an option there for you but they do all look really nice I love the fact that they all match and they really do look the part classic in front of the camera they really do look the part and they really do match but what I'm going to do now move on and show you why I uh, have the water cooling fittings on there so now you can see why I had those fittings we have some of the EK rigid tube we've put it in with the uh, rigid fittings just to kind of raise the coolant out of the board as well so that you do get a chance to see what it might be like in your rig now I have filled them up quite a bit because I'm a bit of a noob well, I'm not a noob but you get what I'm saying you go uh, some more in that one some more in this one And they do a little dib dab. There we go. Right, so I've put a little bit more coolant in there so that you can see. But I really, really like this pastel look. Um, it's quite an intense one. I didn't put as much water in as I was meant to because it's a concentrate, so you add water to it. But obviously, we did have the uh, graphics card as well. Now, I've done the, uh, the motherboard first because obviously, the motherboard is the bit that you see most of. But we do have. The graphics card here as well and you can see that it is quite a, a bulk of color but it does look epic if you had like a mirrored floor on your rig that you might be able to see it or a lot of the rigs now have the graphics cards up at the side you can also get the PCI Express band so you can move the graphics card to where you want and that would be the view that you would get uh, 
I really, really love this pastel red. It's really, really nice and deep. Uh, we did say on Facebook, actually, there was a choice between the pastel and the, the normal red. And the, uh, all of the people that follow me on the Tiny Tom Logan Facebook page chose me to go with the pastel, which kind of it helped me because I will more than likely end up using pastel red in my own personal rig, which is just about to um, uh, start very, very soon. But this, I think, is epic. So if, you've, if you're lucky enough to have a Rampage Extreme, and I have 5920, uh, 5930, or even the 5960, then, uh, and you're thinking of water cooling, and obviously these boards do look the gonad. Some people do prefer the separate water block look, and obviously if you're going rigid hose, then having the nice um, symmetrical bends and the really rigid loops to the uh, re really rigid look to your loop, then the separate blocks might be slightly better for you than the tidy ones. It really depends on what your, your OCD or your design says in your head. But these do look the gonads. I really like the clear. Um, I'm glad, very, very glad that they've got rid of the circles all over them that they did on the last generation. I think this is a complete, it's like black and white. It's night and day, so different to the way that they were before. This looks so much nicer, which is one of the reasons why I did get hold of EK to try and get them. So there we go. Rampage 5 Extreme, all water blocked up. You've got the, the new EK Supremacy CPU water block on there as well. And we've also, got the GTX 980 water block but that's enough of a showcase for us today children let me know what you think in the comments underneath if you got this would you have used red would you have used the normal red would you maybe possibly think oh no that needs black cooling or white cooling what would you do let me know in the comments underneath also let me know on the forums if you do have a rampage that's water blocked up I would love to see it on the forums as well. But just to chuck a curveball in, if you would like this motherboard water block set up and you have a Rampage 5 Extreme, you neither need a Rampage 5 Extreme, get onto the Overclock 3D forums, show me your rig with uh, your uh, forum name and the date in there to show me that you actually do have the board and that you um, uh, obviously it's a recent picture and not just something that you've downloaded uh, from Tinterwebs. Um, and I will give this motherboard water block set up to one of you. Obviously I need to drain them and I'll flush them out for you. But you can have the CPU block, the uh, motherboard water block set. And also if you have a 980, this is where it gets really interesting. If you have a 980, same thing on the forums, show me. Tell me why you want it. Tell me why you need it without sucking us. Actually be honest about it. And I'm willing to give this away to you as well. That's worldwide. I'll post it wherever you want. Doesn't matter whether you're in Nova Scotia, South, you know, Antarctica. It doesn't matter. I'll post them to you. But you just have to tell me why you're worthy and you have to post about it on the forums. But with a nice little curveball at the end, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out. Ding! Wow!